first went to school, I hated it because I suffer from something called dyslexia, which means that my reading and writing aren't as strong as they would be otherwise. And when you're young, it's all about reading and writing. So when I was at school, I felt like a failure. Um, I felt I wasn't progressing quickly enough and I felt quite frustrated. Um, as I went through the school system, I discovered other subjects. One of the subjects I discovered was science. Now, from a very early age, from about two or three, I was fascinated by the stars and space, and I still want to get out there. And um, uh, what um, I discovered was that I was quite good at science. I had a logical mind. And so whereas in a sort of the English classes, I would sit at the back and skulk, I suddenly discovered that in the science classes, I was understanding the teacher's questions, and sometimes putting, my, putting up my hand when no one else was. And this was an eye-opener for me. Maybe I'm not the failure that I thought I was. Maybe that there is, um, a, maybe there is benefit in what I, I, I am. And uh, so through that, I, I started studying science. And by studying science, my other subjects became better. But I think the lesson I've learned is that initial failure, although it was quite debil um, debilitating at the time, from learning from it, I know that now that failure isn't necessarily a bad thing. We can learn from our mistakes, we can learn from our challenges, from our difficulties, and it just makes us stronger. And it, it means that when we face challenges in the future, failure isn't the ultimate. We can fall down flat on our face, pick ourselves up and go on again, and go on to something bigger and better than we ever thought we could achieve in the past.